Right, I've got my coffee. Had a wee. Time to get this show on the road. And try and remember where I was last time. I knew I'd gone back to... Medjool... Oh, I was in Castle, wasn't I? Triangulate Castle. Because I got... That's a little bit loud. Turn you down a bit, shall we? I'm sure somebody will shout at me if it's too quiet. So... Yeah, we were in Drangolite Castle. I didn't have any... Thingies left to make myself human. No. And I had just had my ass handed to me by... One of those, um... Paramancers, didn't I? So we want to be going to Central, I think. I remember now. Yeah, I was making my way through Drangleic Castle, got my ass kicked by the two Paramans to women through the door. But I did go back and reopen that door, which is up here. So this door leads to the two Paramans ladies. So. And she dropped us a nice herb as well. So I can hear the angry knight above me. Yep. And there's a ghost here, isn't there? Oops. I know I'd forgotten something. <laughs> so yeah, we are back in Drangleite Castle. And I am lost and lonely. And I have an angry knight up there somewhere, because I can hear him running around. There he is. So where was I going from here? And... Hello. I'm doing alright. I'm to trying to remember where I was supposed to be going. Is it this door? This door doesn't open. <gasps> but there is a ladder here. We finished work earlier. And my D&D group is back together, so I am doing this rather than at the weekend like I usually do. Aw, oh, gargoyle. Leave me alone. So yeah, I'd normally do this on a Saturday, but d and is now on Saturdays. So I'm shifting it to whatever free other day I get free in the week. And I finished work early today, so I may as well. So we got... That was my way up. I'm not sure where I'm supposed... Oh, yes! That was just a loop, wasn't it? I'm supposed to be going back to the elevator, wherever that is. Hi, Manu. It's right, Manu didn't see me mess up, it's fine. I got away with it. Now we've got that shortcut, we've got... Can I open this door? Locked. Now we have the lift that goes up. <laughs> yeah. I didn't see it, didn't happen. So that's the ladder I climbed up before. I'm sure that ladder just went straight into something. <gasps> My punch mittens. Yeah, I had a, a bet at work 
of our closing IT tickets a while back and I lost the bet so he got to stipulate like how I played it so the first Dark Souls I wasn't allowed to use yeah. we got someone trapped in there as well so the first Dark Souls I wasn't allowed to use any magic or anything like that so I just went for like a big smashy build and then this one I have to use fist weapons I'm not allowed to use like swords or anything like that so another fire seed but you're already at plus 10 so I can still use magic and I can still use raised we ranged weapons but my melee weapons have to be fist weapons so I've got those King's Passage, a spell that I'm not, probably not going to use. Is it Strong Magic Shield? Yeah, so I got all my pyromancies lined up. Yeah, I don't have enough intellect to use that thing. And then... Why is this here? It doesn't do anything. Oh well, back down we go look for a secret to roll off. Hi Sherry! This is almost always like a secret area you can roll off or something on these. <clears throat> there. Apparently not. This is however what this key opens. <gasps> Hi Greg. And we are in King's Pass. Mm. Nice world tree description. Item. Alluring skull. You're terrible, Greg. Um, I remember there being traps here, but I can't remember what kind. Oh, that kind. Oh, the rest of them walk up anyway. Ow. sorted I do know what know what boss is at the end of here as well because it's like one of my favorite bosses from when I first played it yes and if you want to invade somebody on the mirror night boss you can put the red soapstone down oh, I've not got it with me anywhere in this area or, oh yeah, it's going to be back to full. <laughs> yeah, uh, you can put your invasion sign anywhere down in this area. And it's got a chance to pull you into this boss fight. So I am online, let's see if anybody gets pulled in. They'll get a bit of a surprise if they do because I've still got flame swathe on. And again, he is a big armoured boss, so my fists should do quite well against him because strike damage is good against armour. So it's two 
swings and I shouldn't have drunk that. I should have waited. Yep, his shield is a mirror. Wait until you see what the mirror does. So. Uh, 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 looking pretty ugly now. Yeah, nobody likes looking glass night. Everybody calls it mirror night. I could really do with an invasion or something. Zeben, 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 Zeben. Zeben, 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 Zeben. Out. Practicing your German, Sherry. Oh yeah. His shield is like 100% physical block as well. Put him in the deck. attacks now. Or not. Okay, you're gonna do it. Or do I have to drop him below? He's gonna do it. Right, watch this bit, Sherry. I don't think this is a player. No, no chance. But that can be a player. Heal. Yeah, Sherry, do you know the, the red sign soapstone? If you put that down anywhere in that corridor, you can get called in instead of the NPC phantom. So I have the red sign soapstone. So I might put it down just for a laugh. And um, where did I put you? There you are. No, you're talking of spite. Why do I not have the red soapstone? Where did I put it? Um, you might be able to, Greg. I've never tried it. Um. Uh... I'm trying to remember where you get the red sign soapstone from now. I might not even have it. You might get it from the... Oh yeah, you get it from the blood jewels and I've not done any yet. Let's 
So I've got the red eye orb to invade other worlds. Yeah, Dark Souls 1, you've got to go all the way through the Painted World to get it. Dark Souls 2, I think you get it at the Brotherhood of Blood Covenant. But I'm not 100% sure. I might just ignore them. See if we can do a mad dash to the boss room. But unfortunately, they can hit me as I'm going through bog. Ah, oh, that was fast enough. Why would it be at the top of Velka's tower though? Isn't she supposed to like punish sinners? Oh yeah, she does the whole revenge thing, doesn't she? But then that wouldn't be the red soapstone, because the red soapstone is like a dueling one. Oh, there's one of his other fancy spells. This guy is almost completely immune to spells as well. No, same NPC again. No chance. Right. Ooh, that was the start. I'll put the shield down again. Cherry's not even played all of Dark Souls 1 as far as I'm aware. Or maybe he has but he's only done it once. I can't remember what he said now. Oh yeah, these guys follow me in there, don't they? Bye! But yeah, that that is one of the fights people like most in this. It's uh, this fight, and then there's two DLC fights that people really love. One is called the Fume Knight, and there's another called the Burnt. I think it's the Burnt Ivory King. But yeah, Burnt Ivory King is the only thing, like, out of the lot. Yeah, I played Dark Souls 2. Uh, no, I played Dark Souls 1. Originally when it was a, a free game. Um, with Xbox Live Gold. And I played it and me and my mate Dave raced each other. So if you listen carefully now, you, hear, you can hear singing, which is actually somebody singing in here. So 
So, but first, back to Majula. Yeah, Greg, this area used to be a lot worse. It got nerfed in Scholar of the First Sin, where they changed the enemy placement to not be as mean. And it got nerfed before that as well, um, in a patch to reduce the tracking on the spells. So it's in fact, that, that entire area is in fact been nerfed twice. Right, you're plus four, you're both plus three, plus four. Need two more twinkling titanite. But yeah, Miyazaki is definitely a troll. Um. <laughs> yeah, this game had a wonky development, to put it lightly. Be safe. It got overhauled. Like Miyazaki had a bit of influence on it. But he didn't direct it like he normally does. Um, I can't remember the name of the guy who's directed this one. But yeah, this game basically got overhauled twice. Because the, the way they do it is they do like leapfrog development and Bloodborne was being made at the same time. So they had a couple of people who like threatened to quit unless they got to work on Bloodborne and shit like that. Should buy some more of these. Thanks. So they shifted over to working on Bloodborne and they had to bring other people in. And the game got overhauled I think twice. One of months, like months before release. Which is why some areas look a lot more polished than others. Do you have anything new yet? You do, you've got shards. Poison storm bleeds to oh, nothing that I actually want. No interest. So we are going to Shrine of I am far enough in the game as well now. That it shows you where all the bonfires are for the rest of the game, including the DLC. So we can vaguely see how far we've got to go. And I can see if I've missed bonfires in other areas. Don't, which I've got one missing there. But what am I missing there? I'm not sure what bonfire I've got missing in the forest. Oh no, no I do. Oh, that comes later. Shrine of Lohana, we've got one bonfire I've not got in the castle apparently. Anyway, shrine we go. Hey Trua. Back to the singing area. got to get to go through is like through all of this stuff see that little priest down there wandering around as well he has friends that cast spells that track there are some mean spells hurrah for boulder boulder does nothing get a door Oh, see these priest guys. This is like the starting cleric gear minus the helmet. Uh, gotta knock that down, don't we? Wrong button. There. You go. Pick you up in a bit. Basilisk. Little boogers. Oh, 
Are you good or are you bad? Good. Alright, Chua. Uh, last boss took me a couple of attempts, but not too bad. Although I am looking a bit ugly because I've died a few times and I don't have any way to make myself human at the moment. Although, I think there is a cheat for it in this area. I said cheat. Or it's not really a cheat. Um, so here we have... Be wary of ambush. Yeah, see that little bugger under the water there. Yeah, I think it took me my third attempt I got him. These guys may be a problem because... I don't really have any low attacks. There. That works. So the singing is coming from that little hut there in front of us. There we go, jump back. Hi Dave! I am in everybody's favourite area. I should re-equip my knives. Uh, restore slightly. Keep you on for now. So, got a few of them there. Grab this priest fella first. what I wanted as well. Thank you. Back to human again. And yeah, like the water here is waist high, so it like screws up your movement horribly as well. Got it. More human effigies. And kill these ones as well. But be careful because the ledge is there on the left. But they drop human effigies, which could be useful because more health. bit where well, the secret was. How was it you got over here? No door or anything. So I lost look at the floor and walk carefully things. Butterfly, one twinkling titanite. I need one more twinkling titanite. Got to upgrade my legs as well. Yeah, that's all cliff. Beep, 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 beep. So singing is coming from inside this. You got a good chest. Um, I do plan on playing Dark Souls 3 after this as well, but I have not been in any stipulations or anything for it. 
saw sometimes to sometime towards the end of this one. I think I'm gonna put a poll up on Discord and let you lot decide. But time to rescue. We knew you were coming. And stopped singing. So she stopped singing. We are Milfanito. We are here to sing to those bound by death and dark. <laughs> Pull arms only. We will sing here forever. As we always have from long, long ago. We know nothing of the world outside. And why should we? For we will never leave. Do you seek King Vendrick? Yep. That's the guy we got to go and visit. What is a king, after all? We know nothing of the world outside. Yeah, you've already said that. Leave. When we sing, the little ones dance. The little ones grant comfort to those who bear death and dark. <laughs> this. What? Is there anything? Perhaps this. this Thank is you. All. When we sing, when right, that's all she says. So she's given us a small, smooth, silky stone. Now, further to go, I'll get torch texture bugging out there. Looks fine here. Ah, it's not doing it now. See, now we've got. Three of these guys, and the singing starts again. One of these guys is going to spot us. See? So these three used to be clumped right next to each other in this area. So you could only ever fight all three at once. But they've still got a massive sight range. Our strike robes. So that's their robes. Another twinkling titanite. That's another armor piece king up. Upgraded. Is there anything over here? No, you're a cliff. Still gonna kill these guys just to... Even though they're out of the way, I want a chance of that. Humanity. Another one over here. A couple. Edge. Eh, no more. Aha, one here next to the door. Right on the edge of the cliff is well. on the chest. Right. Chest ahead. Are you getting eaten? Or are you getting hit from behind? Eh, you're all fine. And we get Dragon Charm. I'm already good at Bomb Chop, actually. Cures poisoning, restores a lot of health. So yeah, when the woman said she sings and the little ones dance, she meant these firefly things. You are a corrosion bug. Got these dudes. There we go. What else have we got? Pointless. Got a chest. 
You are fine. Summer Games Fest is tonight, I think, isn't it? I forgot to check the date for it, but I know it's in the next couple of days at least. Right, so this used to be the worst area. See that spell over there? Imagine that thing doing like a full 180 to hit you. That's what that spell used to be like. Then they nerfed it. But then there also used to be more of these. So you can see how I'm in sight of the second one as I killed that person. And the amount of damage that spell does as well. So I imagine like twice the number of casters all within sight range of each other. So you kill one, you're in sight range of the next. And that spell traps much more aggressively. That's what it used to be like. Like you used to basically have to do this area as a continuous run. Because as soon as you killed one, the next enemy would be able to see you. this way. Draw you out. Oh look, we've got an ogre over there. And the caster guys. See what I mean about how aggressive those casters are. So where is the way over? Is it See what I mean about them being within sight range of each other. Stop that. And then you can see as well, can't you? There. That's you taken care of. Um... I got turned around. You are progress. I want to go back this way. Keep checking the floor. And another cast. But I don't need that so well. Far away that one is as well. Right. Let's see if I can't. Caster over there. So we'll go back to the pretty farmers. See what's along this path. More lizard man. 
on this old our cast I can see what's going on. Fuck. I should have stopped and got those lizard men. Fight every caster in the universe again. So, let's deal with you first. And then, your friend who can see me. Casting from a stupid range. Look how far away that enemy is. It's basically a dot just above my character's head. And they were still casting at me a second ago. casting wait for them to stop if they'll stop Still here. Still casting at me. Hide behind the pillar. Then we have this one. You drop from the entire night, nice. Oh yeah, that was that cast over there, wasn't it? Is there anything over here? I keep my eyes down so I don't fall off the edge or anything. You are a Pharaoh's Lockstone. Ooh. What do you unlock? Good fake wall. There's no illusionary wall here, but. chest. What do you give us? Anything good? 
Helix Halberd. Oh, it's that one. So. It's the stretchy halberd, if I remember right. Yeah. Look at it. Stabs out the end. Right. So that was all that was over that way. Time to slowly continue forward through five million other casters. This one dropped something. Another twinkling titanite. And then down here, along this bridge, we've got a dragon rider. Top gun as well. And he knocks me off. explored now so let's pop one of these may as well go in we as much health and resistance as we can These ones. Now we get her. We'll take care of Lizard Man. This one. Tomorrow at six PM. Oh. I will be working. But I'll probably watch anyway. And check what's on. Watch for all the alerts and stuff popping up. So, can I draw you out somewhere I can properly fight? Them? Right, will you follow me over here? You will. Nice. <laughs> yeah. A good one. <gasps> Dead. Yep, 
Yeah, if anybody didn't know, it is Dave's birthday tomorrow. He's 40, so we all have to wish him a happy birthday. This is locked. And uh, that's a cliff I almost walked. Right. We have Ogre Man and a caster. I swear he spotted me, that's why he's moving so fast. No. Right, let's get this bin. straight ahead and ogre man to the left take care of this one get okay, ogre man you spotted me that was a terrible cast and you caught me on the roll bastard Kill me. Hook. Oh, now I'm gonna have to kill all these things again. See, this is why people hate this area. There are just so many enemies. They chain together and they cast holy spells and they never run out of mana. This one who then goes inside and this one. And then she's dead. Cool. What she dealt with. There we go. Yeah. Yeah, it's working better than I thought it might do. Although it would be nice to have the actual range to just rush up to stuff and hit them early sometimes, rather than having to get right in their face. Now, equip Slain Fave properly. Target Ogre Man and cast. And I miss your cast as you need. Now they fuck all to him. Now we 
lizard man as well. Go over here. Lizard man will easily get in first. Oh, you're gonna run away. Well, in that case. Hey, boy. You've caught me in probably the worst area in existence. a couple of tries to get the last boss it's already taken me more tries just to get past the first bonfire in this area and I don't care I'm just going to shoot him. yeah like there's loads of casters in this area they have spells that home in on you, they have massive range, and the way that they're laid out, usually you'll trigger the next one just as you beat the first one. Treasure ahead, but look carefully. Oh yeah. And then... Top it all off, you've got these little lizard bites hidden under the water as well. See that cat? So, poke my head out so she can see me. Look how far away she can cast from. And that spell homes in on you as well. If I waggle side to side, it will follow me. It is ass. Um, like I was explaining earlier, it's been nerfed twice as well. It used to be much worse than this, and that was the thing. Yeah. So I will show you the chaining together now be able to see it for the first couple. So, see this first one? As soon as you walk out of the bonfire, this one's casting at you. As soon as you kill her, that one's casting at you. And here's your first break. Then you got this big guy. It wouldn't so bad you fought most of these guys at this point. Get him. Got that little lizard guy who comes from over here. And he's dropped human effigy for us. Awesome. Right. So now. You have this one. Just take care of her. That one over there is already casting over. Take care of this one. Got this one already casting over. And then this is the next break. But you see how far we've had to go to chain those together. And there's a bunch of enemies in between. I could have fought. Like there's another caster there. There's more little lizard guys in the water. You can see one just poking his back up next to that pillar above my head. There's more lizard guys. Which if I didn't know were there. I wouldn't be able to avoid. And you can't go too far out in the water. Because it's a cliff edge. So yeah it is painful time for the next rally, so whoops, should have healed first.
and there's one of the lizard boys coming after me because I can hear them. And I think it used to be worse than this. There used to be more casters and the tracking on those spells used to be more aggressive. I used to be able to see you from further away as well, actually. Right, he's already stopped me. So... Get some casts back. I am hoping there was really good loot over there where I died just for the amount of death that this took me. Oh yeah, and most of this area is waist deep water, so your movement's restricted as well. Creepy ogre. Um, yeah. I think this is the worst area in any of the Dark Souls games. Like, I can't think of anywhere else as bad as this. So, I'm going to try and be cheeky here. Uh, I have not played demons. Because it came out when I didn't have a PlayStation. I have the remake, but I'm saving playing it until like, I'm going through this series. You're gonna run at me. Although I did watch Alex play Demons and the swamp might be as bad. Don't know if I even hit them then. No, they're all hitting the pillar. Got you. There you go. Now you. But yeah, see how far away that one is, and it can still cast it. It is like the full range of my crossbow for a homing, and they're using a homing spell. Right. Now, you need to be careful. Remember to go on the left side of the pillar. Look how many bloodstains there are as well for people trying to get across here. <laughs> what do I get for it? Estus flask jar and a chest. Good chest as well. Sunlight Blade. That is an amazing spell. Or Miracle, I should say. It is good enough that there is a YouTuber who named his entire channel after it. An ancient miracle of the sun. Reinforces a weapon in the other hand with sunlight, a form of lightning. Right, so. Myself, Arix, no. Cora Manu, Brina underscore and Psycho Ape have a wonderful joint Discord called The Ranch. 
with a community that is just incredible. We help each other out, support each other and try to make it a welcoming place for you to hang out. Come check it out. But, it means I can ignore that bit and the ogre and everything now. I'm just going to chain up. Yeah, those things are a pain with these fists as well because I can't actually hit low enough to hit them. I've got to like wait for them to bob up for their attack for me to be able to punch them. You don't usually see me. to move on so I can ignore everything that way. Good cast of the problem with my shoulder. There. Everything that way can go fuck itself. We've got round here, we've got another priest with a hammer. Door. <gasps> nice one, Dave. Know what you'll be watching over the next few days then. Nah, there's nothing in here. A couple of items and like a nice little resting spot. So there we had and oh no, I've got all those items over there. Right. Pick these guys. These guys are nowhere near as much trouble. They used to come in groups. Ooh, I got his shield. It looks sick as well, the shield. Yeah. So, stamina recovery shield. Shield of the Archstrike set of Lindelt. Represents a slumbering dragon. Right, so... We have Caster and Hammerman, Hammerman, Hammerman. We are Oh, Bulger. Right, screw you. Time to Legolas it. If my range matches.
you also get to see one of the quirks of this engine as well, which is that enemies further away have terrible frame rates. It's something to do with saving processing power and stuff. But yeah, anything further away just gets a terrible frame rate. Another slumbering dragon shield. Right. Are you within range? It looks like you should be. There you are. over there are just hammer guys aren't you yes Greg we are bone fist is on the must must get pile could I buff in them bitch I should have all the stats for it. But you. God damn it. Right, it was all over this way. Floor, look for a cliff. Do we have roots? Oh, another one of these dudes. I target him. Paraband to kids. There we go. Right, what have we got in here? Got singer's dress and life ring plus two. Dress worn by a far gone muse offers no physical defense but is blessed with high resistance to magic. These enchanting singers were once given song by the great dead one and have little concept of self. They live only to sing and will continue singing until they can do so no longer. And the great dead one is of course the Mito from the first game. Head back towards the glowy plants. Got this bitch over here to deal with. Um, follow these parts. Yeah, you. Bitch. Sensible way, it's a sensible. Best chance of a sneak attack. Right. Got 
item up here. Coloring skull. Dad we have the water. We have a fog gate. I don't think this is the boss because like it's not really. Oh bugger this. I bet you have to get to that one the other way because this is pushing me away here. Right. See what's in here. <gasps> Corrosion bugs. Breakage like a dream. The giant one. I can hear another singer. We see the brave. At least we get another checkpoint. Got another bonfire. You know what, I've got plenty of these. Let's see how the bug does against Flame Swave as well. No worries, Dave. I will see you in a bit. on me so may as well I'm Manu right, where's the singing coming from here is it left of here oh fuck oh come on the bastards right Crossbow point. Get the casters with a crossbow. Oh, hey, look, these guys have respawned as well. Um, 
Time for press for please. And then we've got you further back. This is just gonna hit the wall in it. Oh no. Doesn't hit the wall but it's still too far away. What about here? Watch out for this edge. Third shot, third connect. Come. And then there's one. There. Headshot, yes, you don't get a chance to cast. There. So singing is coming from that little hut there. Apparently. But is there a cliff over here? Because there is this other item. Yeah. There we go. Nothing massively useful, but worth it anyway. But now, these guys are going to themselves. <laughs> you still got me. Yeah. Even though the water slow down everything I do has been a pain. But this entire area is a pain. area. Right. I don't see this guy. I need you to repair all my shit, please. I'll be around. Put the rest of it in the bin. out. So 12 is the most I can get apparently. Uh, reinforce. Plus 4, plus 4, plus 4. So they're all already at plus 4. Click to plus 5. Go to plus 5. Need 2 more.
And they're all repaired. The armor is almost fully repaired. Upgraded. Back to pain. Jam. Still need crossbow equipped for this bitch out here. Where is you at? There. Shoot them all. Here we go practice seeing as they know Battlefield got announced today and I quite like the Battlefield games. some more. Get shot a little bit more. And then we've got you. And then you dudes can have flame swave when you get too close. So you break. No. Bitch. Heal you. This cunt who was trying to heal them. She has a lot of the glowy things around her, so. Could be Lizard Man in the world. Or not. Red Iron Twin Blade. Of men's like this one. Crystal Soul Mass. That's a great spell. That's the one that hovers above your head and then just flies at people. So, what have we got? We've got a hut out that way. Is there any way to actually get to it? Or is it a trap? Trap. 
no way out there that I can see. Unless... No, there isn't. Uh, we've got... Huts to the left here. The weird tower thing over that way. Or the lizard man here. way over to the weird tower thing. There does not appear to be. No, there isn't. Not that I can see anyway. So we've got this way. What are you over there? You are... Lizard man maybe? Oh! Sneaky caster. No. Lizard man's... Peculiar Kindler. Got more castles. And you've got the shotgun spell. Tell you what, if you want to fight me, you can come this way. There. No more casting for you. Oh, shotgun spell. Fucker. I don't know where I can go straight now, I don't need to do any exploring or anything. Some then, right? Here you can see everybody using ranged weapons here. It's that ghost that just faded out with his dude doing the same. these guys out. They draw them out. Well, it takes two crossbow bolts to kill them. Unless she heals. Which, yeah. Sneaky caster over here, didn't we? Um, trying to crouch down there. And then... 
over this way was where Kindler came in. So, we're we gonna go with. Punch the fuck out of him. It is a man. Oh, he's a proper mix sorcerer. I was expecting to just have hexes. Spell. No more cast. Or I'll push you off. There. Dick. Back human again. Right. Eyes up. What have we got? Still don't know how to get over there to that tower. Don't know if you even can. We got. Item. We got. It's like a boss fog down there. Notice how the singing didn't stop. Because you'll be able to see where the singing comes from shortly. But first, we're taking a look over here if we can. Can we? Is there actually no way over to where that open caster was? I would call ultimate bullshit if it wasn't. There's nothing there. Nothing here. This lifts up a little bit. It does go to a cliff. Cliff, cliff, cliff. Another cliff. You do go out and around a little bit. Right, no, it's all cliffs. What I'm going to check is. This way. This also appears to be cliff. Maybe? a little ledge you can walk on. Only a little one. That just takes you over to where that. They put the cheeky caster so. To the boss fog then I suppose. We'll find out where that singing is coming from. Seeing as it's not in the ladies who disappeared. coming from this direction. I wonder what the singing could be. Let's go find out. Oh look it's singing. So yeah, this is the Demon of Song. This is what has been singing all this time. Now that's a mean attack. And can 
hit the invulnerable and set songs right now. Tough though, as long as I get the actual hits. In. Song Soul and Key to the Embedded. Winner. So the Embedded was that thing at the top of the castle. So we go here. Fine work, fine work, keep moving. So this is the other side of that stuff for Oh, this is how you get over to this. It's the other side of the boss room. And then over here, we have a path that goes outwards. But I want to get through this door or something first, just so I know I've got to a, a bonfire. And don't have to make my way through all the bullshit again. There, get back, stabbed. So, door, please. We've got a lift. Where is this going? Down. All the way down. I see bonfire. We shall light bonfire to get the checkpoint. Oh, it's this guy again. Yes. Venric, the 
You're the bomb with greatness not granted it by the fakes. That's what you think, dude. I've just punched half the bosses in Lordran today. That guy is Aldia, that's the king's brother. And he was researching for a way to basically circumvent the curse. So he didn't want to go hollow, didn't want to be undead. They were looking for basically a way of immortality. Oh yeah, I need to pick that up, don't I? So I will show you this thing as well. Where have I put it? Aldia did all sorts of shady shit. And I mean like shady shit. So just so let's go right there. So the thing I picked up off the boss is the key to the embedded. It is a key. It's also a sword. And it doesn't really do anything special. block. It's got this weird swinging parry. And it's got a couple of cool heavy moves. But other than that, it's just a key that's a sword. So we're going back up the elevator to see where that path goes that we went past. So up. I don't think the door guard will be still there. I'm pretty sure those King's Guard guys disappear when they die. And then we will go and use the key to the embed the key of the embedded at the top of the tower as well, the top of the um palace castle. Whatever you want to call it. All the way up we go. Door. Oh, he does respawn. Now, can I get a sneaky backstab? Yes. Sneaky backstab. So there's a path over here. All of these stones. What are you? Are you a basilisk in the water? You are, aren't you? See you, you little bastard. And your friends. Ah. chest as well. Not gonna kill me. You have magic arrows. But I'm not using a bow, so. And we have another place we can use a fragrant branch. And another bonfire. So we'll use our fragrant branch because we can. There are an equal number of fra fragrant branches as there are petrified places to use them on. So we've got this bonfire. Hollow ahead. I think this is the cheat area I was talking about. Oh yeah. He's a foyer. Lester Fowl. Ah, yay, it's one of those dudes. I have no idea what the point of killing all these things is. But there's like hidden moths all over the place. So there's a door here. Door's locked. Door will open if you are very hollow. If you've died a lot of times and gone all zombie-like. 
that door will open and you can turn yourself back human by praying at it. Um, I think the door opens when we rescue the other woman. So we get the... we've got the key to the thingy. So we need to go back to the top of the castle on the elevator. And that will let us unlock the cage with the woman inside. So we go back through here. Go up this. All the way to the top. that key in because the key that looks like a sword can unlock the padlock that looks like a man in fact this one lovely and yeah that's the kind of weird shit that Aldi had got up to he made the embedded so if we talk to this lady She's been freed. She gives us Ring of the Dead. So Ring of the Dead. Keep human appearance even while hollow. It's a really cool ring. So you could stay looking like this no matter how many times you die. If you wear that. It is purely cosmetic but it's a really nice one to have. her singing. Did she just go out of the cage and I just ignored her? I'm going to have to go back up and check now. I didn't look around properly. Because I am on the I have just got an update as well and my chair shall be arriving tomorrow. Tomorrow before 6pm. If I'm lucky, it'll be early in the day, and I can build my chair before I start work. Fingers crossed. Yeah, new fancy new Secret Labs chair. It looks really comfy. Can't wait to try it. But yeah, I've got my fingers crossed it arrives in the morning. That way I can build it before midday when I start work and I can have a nice comfy chair all day for work right is she in this room she's not just stood around the edges she she's not I was imagining things right homeward bone we will nip to medulla for a couple of levels and see if our friend is selling chunks or anything yet. I reckon by the end of the game I should be around level 150. That's what I'm at the moment. moment I am level 120 I've got 30 levels left so I've got 18 to max out my strength and my dex that leaves me with another 12 to play around to put in whatever I want and I'm tempted to put it in faith and intellect you know because that will make my uh, make my paramancy a bit stronger and let me use like a couple of fancy spells and stuff as well. Thanks. You sell them yet? Well, I've only one. 
No, oh, not yet. No interest. But yeah, I'm going to cap myself at 150. Like, you can go even higher and buff everything else, but there's not much point in me doing so. And the dead can go in there. But yeah, one thing they did in, in Dark Souls 2, which I wish they'd have kept for Dark Souls 3, is the amount of customization you can do. Like, look at all these armor sets and stuff I've got. All these armor sets all the, the different kinds of weapons I've got got all these shields got all these and this isn't this is just me playing through this isn't me going out of my way to buy all the weapons and everything and then you've got like all of this is just paramount you've got all these spells you've got miracles you've got hexes and I've not even bought any of those yet um, we are good for now. We shall go back to the secret bit of Shrine of Amana and see if that door is open. Sexy Punch Ramen. Yep. Definitely. So, when we go up here, is this door open now? Seeing as I've rescued all the ladies. Should be. No, maybe I still need to be hollow before it'll open. Yeah, you can hear them singing. Yeah, singing through the door. So yeah, I must have them all there now. I just need to be hollow before I can actually go in. So, now we go to the undead crypt. Got that guy's helmet with the goat helmet on. So, anything there? Always check under the stairs. We got a radiant life gem there. We got. Little nook. There is no illusory wall, you lying bastards. Right. Into the crypts. Hey, look, more King's Guard. Look, Philip's back. Oh, Philip. You've got big shield. Once again, he falls to heavy armour. And we have Philip back. So we'll take Philip with us. Be wary of enemy. Be wary of woman, but weakness beating to a pole. Ah, dark casters. Oi! Sorcery as well. And miracles. We've got the entire lot. Too late. Kill the unfriendly ones, we'll keep filling with this. It's 
have a look see who this summon is as well. I'm not going to use them, but Devotee Scarlet. But I'm not going to use the summons. Not unless I absolutely have to, because you don't need them to do any story progression or anything with them. But dark ahead, therefore be wary of torch. Sorry, Philip. So there's nothing there. Oh, stairs. So we have ambush ready and waiting. And we have this dude. I am Agdane. Agdane, guardian of the crypt. Also known as Emo Man. Rest here in peace. Light. He also has the, one of the coolest swords in the game. We have no need for it here. I am a finito. We weave death and watch over the dead. This task was granted to me by the one who gave us the first death. So another guy created by Nito. Some of them from ages long ago. Some were rich. And he basically looks after a giant graveyard. But now, did you come for him? The one called Fendrick. Yep, I'm gonna kick his ass. Many castle servants and the like have come to fetch their lord, but they rest here now, put to death by the king's own guard. Perhaps he's not in the mood for company. So we have guards to get through as well. In the past. Humans were one with the dark. The former king of light, he feared humans. Feared that they would usher in an age of dark. How queer are you humans? How you go on, never separating truth from fiction. So that one light there, that lord of light feared humans who would usher in an age of dark. That is pretty much the entire plot of Dark Souls 3. This place is welcome to all, provided due reverence is shown. Death is equitable. Accepting. We will tell me what you desire. But the DLC of Dark Souls Show 3 is all about that. And I will it's what the first time. sin is as well referred to in the title of this game. So, have mercy. So he sells. Ring of Thorns counterattacks when damage is taken. Got dark stuff. He sells human effigies. This is the dude we've been waiting for. He's got a couple of sorceries. He's got the warmth pyromancy, which is healing. We will be taking that. And I've got the solar peas miracle. I am a finito. This so we will be coming back for this guy whenever we need human effigies. Because he's got 13 of them. But yeah, the whole plot, Dark Souls 3, is all to do with Gwyn, who is the last boss of the first game, being afraid of humans and the Age of Dark. So he did everything he could to stop it, including fucking up, like, people's souls, basically. Like, he basically c cursed the first humans and the pygmies and sealed them away and that is the first sin that's referred to here because it's supposed to be like a natural progression from light to dark and he tried to stop it so first we need some light oh yeah red spirit because they don't like us having lights here so. 
Hello, darkness, my old friend. Right. So. There we go. So yeah, the, the main themes of the games is Dark Souls 1 is the light is fading and they expect you to go and relink the flame to make everything better again. So you get prophesized as this big hero. You go and defeat all the Lord. Another one of these cunts. Oop. One fall damage. So yeah, you get prophesized as this big hero going to relink the flame and usher in a new age of fire. Keep everything light again. And canonically at the end of it you do. When I played through, I didn't. I just went and abandoned the flame. But the canon ending is that that character linked the flame, ushered in a new age of fire, and held off the dark for a bit. Dark Souls 2 is basically showing that that doesn't work. It's only a temporary fix. So you need to keep linking the fire to keep it going. Keep linking it over and over and over again. Uh, and Dark Souls 2 also has a big plot about trying to work your way around the curse to avoid it. So what we're doing is that there's a lot of... No, I'm not going to attack the bell, I know what it does. Um, Dark Souls 2 has a big part, point of there's a rumour of a way around the curse. In Lord Ram, where we're at. And that's what the King's brother Aldir has been looking for. So Aldia has been doing all sorts of horrific experiments and stuff to try and basically find a way around the curse of undeath. And oh, the rest of that. did all sorts of horrific experiments, and we are here. basically following in those footsteps and we've been told oh if you want to find a way around the curse and everything you need to go and find Vendrick but we're on our way to doing so clear this out room by room because I can't really see any further so nothing there Other ghost. And yeah, the big horribly mutated thing that popped up out of the fire, that is Albion, that's the king's brother. And he was a genius, but also an asshole. Avoid hitting the bell. You. Aldia, in his research, discovered what it was that Gwyn, the first Lord of Light, did. And his sin of trying to hide away or try to lock away humanity. So he just picked up a really rare weapon then. Blue Flame. So, I can't use it because I'm not a wizard. But this is a sword. Swings like a normal sword. Or if I try and do a heavy attack, it doesn't do anything. Because the strong attack for this weapon uses magic. So if you want to be a proper fighty wizard, you can have this in one hand and a shield in the other. And rather than having to have a staff to cast your spells, you can use that sword to do it. 
And it is really rare as well, actually. Like, I've played this game a couple of times. I've only completed it once before. No, twice before, actually, sorry. But, uh... It's the only time I've ever seen the blue flame drop. I completed it once. Um before Scholar of the Sinus Sin came out and once after. So there's nothing over here, it's just this doorway for me to go through. I'm not going to go on much longer. Um, I'm going to stop about eight my time. So I believe the graves stay. So the big statue things that yeah they stay broken. So I'm not going to too much trouble. Just kill the skeleton. Just kill the skeleton. Even if the bell rings in here, it doesn't actually do anything. Skeleton drops the Titanite Shard. So, what we want to do... Break. 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 Press 4 to learn more about the martial art of dad jokes <laughs> with a token dill trouble base. Hi, Bear. Trouble 4, Joy. How are you? How was the rest of what? Ah! Right, I've at least broken the grave. So, I'm not going to get any more. Weird guys being summoned by the bell. I wonder if there's a way somewhere I can hit that caster from. Skeleton! Skeleton Maria! Da -da 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 -da. Oh, you dropped down. Cool. Get that. Hit that bell as many times as I like. It's not going to do anything now. <laughs> Ghost. I saw you that time. See, Bell now does nothing. Apart from makes this do it. Right. So the ring I just picked up was Bracing Knocker Ring 2, slow as equipment degradation. I don't really need that. What have we got in here? Illusion ahead. And we've got the Dagger Lady again. Where's she at? She can come to me this time. 
Yeah, bitch. This lady in this lady counts me in the castle. Nameless usurper has been vanquished. More ghosts. Where is ghost? Try attacking. Ah, nothing there. Oh! Saying that. Secret dude. There's an illusionary wall, you can have a rating for that. An illusionary wall with a ghost behind it. Right. Left. <laughs> Alright. Chest is fine, it's not going to murder me. Bam, 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 bam. Avalyn. Now, if you ever wanted to see something ridiculous, we'll get Avalyn. Look at that for a crossbow. Now watch it fire. It's a rapid fire crossbow. You hold it down, and it aims. It fires three at once. I will be using Avalyn, so we will keep hold of it, and we will upgrade it the chance we get. So our heavy crossbow is at eight, but Avalyn. An extremely, ra extremely rare rapid-firing crossbow, firing three successive bolts, inflict heavy damage by making all three shots count. A Fiorenza, the richest merchant in all of Volgan, recreated this lost weapon after reading of it in an old book. So your heavy crossbow will get swapped out for Avalyn at some point. That's why I was checking if that woman was selling chunks yet. The moment she sells Titanite chunks, we'll just be able to whack a lot of upgrades on Avalyn. Fisty cuffs and crossbows. Ghost. Hey, look, it's a more ghosts. You would be forgiven for thinking this is a wall. It is not. Oh, Paramount has a decent amount to you, dudes, as well. Sun was right on my screen then. So, any more ghosts? No, we have a hole. Wherever the hole leads. More skeleton. Um, oh, yeah. Another secret dude. I only realised he was there then because I sort of like walked into him and got caught. So now. This bit is going to be ass. Because it looks like it's a drop down into an area with the bells. Yeah, it is. So. We'll get you. And then we'll... Not a nice place, but I broke one of the uh, the gravestones. So, because that gravestone is broken, that shade won't respawn now. I just have to get back there. Screw you.
still got the caster up there. Which I don't actually have a way to get to, I don't think. I can't see any way up there. Looks like some pyromancy as well. But... secret door in here. <laughs> so we'll just continue on this way. More ghosts. Yeah, poor Beth doesn't like... doesn't like dark holes. Oh, locked it that time. Luckily, I've got extra casts. These guys can actually drop these shields as well, so you can use them as weapons. an idea for going down this hole. Let's get our two casts of flame sweat back. So, where does Mr. Grouch all pop up there? So what these dudes do is they pop up and they run straight to a bell to try and ring it. So now we've got this one here. Press 4 to learn more about the martial art of dad jokes with a token dilf. Drop Hi points. Alex. Imagine being subbed though. Oh, that's a quiver full of arrows, Beth. Or bolts for the crossbow, I should say. Another one. Pit. Mace. So this is the way we came in. No, it's not. Because we came in through the hole in the ceiling. But we can open this shortcut. Boom, 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 boom. I heard you. Get away from that bell. So we came in through the hole in the ceiling. Just need to make sure there's no more gravestones in here like this one. And another one that way. So you've cast the lava bed thing. I have pyromancy as well. So take that. Never mind it hit the graves. Shield, Lady of Gauntlets. I think I've broken all the grave things in here. So, these dudes, yeah. That guy's going to ham on the bell and it's doing nothing, so. You 
down there. So. What was that mace I picked up? Mace of the Insolent. Mace of formerly high ranking clerics that combined with a sacred chime and cast miracles and hexes with a strong attack. Cool, so we got both of them. We got the sword that casts sorceries and we got the mace that catches miracles and stuff. So this dude who is ringing the bell. There's another grave over here. Wait for the lava to go away. No, oh, Lady L. White. Look. Stop ringing these bells. Now we've got this one. Proud Knight and a Dragon Charm. Right. So we'll go out here. So this is the shortcut that goes back to the first one fire, cool. Wary of inattention, try item, boss ahead, but try luring it out. You are a regular chest. Magic stone, dark knight stone. Mm -hmm. right, there is a way to light those and I can't remember what it is. Get my torch out. We're not going to like it, but we can deal with it. So. Nothing here. So you've got that pedestal lit. It's a way to light up this entire area, I just can't think of why. Try jumping and then a head chest. Um, not quite, but... Statue praying. Another creepy statue praying. We have this ladder that's got a ghost on it. So we came this way earlier. the other bloody torch to, uh, to light because it was a really cool effect when it all lit up. And no, I'm not going to try jumping. Mm. I honestly can't remember. There was something you could light up in here and it would light up like the entire room. It was a really cool effect. I just can't remember where the other pedestal is. So let's have a look in here. I am winning. Slowly. It is King's Protector next. Whatever the fuck he's called. Um, Velstadt. Try attacking Visions of Shade. Oh no, these cunts in it. bell ringer in here somewhere. Is he under these stairs? 
He is the last hole. Never mind, the bell has been wrong. These guys are up. Maybe a gauntlet. Spawn another one. Oh, yeah, because the little dude keeps respawning, doesn't he? You know what? Fuck you guys. So now we've got. Oi! King's protectors, or King's guards, whatever you want to call them. Leave me alone. Uh, no, it's the um, the guy with the giant mace and dark magic. The giant mace that's a bell. We got the shortcut done, so I shall finish here and go and find food. So we have the shortcut, we will go back to the bonfire that's at the shortcut, which is the entrance. And I shall see you all next time. Though, so, find somebody to raid, shall we? Who is online today? Uh, ba -bam -bam -bam. I know who I can read. So I have a friend who is online and she streams very, very rarely. But she's playing Phasmophobia at the moment. So we'll go and say hello. She streams very, very rarely. So thank you for watching, everybody. Go and say hello to Teeny. She has had that same display picture as long as I've known her, and that's been like 14, 15 years. So, I shall see you all soon. I will probably speak to some of you later on Discord. And bye bye everybody.